Hey, Ernie, thanks for coming down and having us on this episode of Better Horses TV. This week, I'm going to continue talking about creating softness in your horse, and eventually that's going to lead to softness in our turns and in our stops. So today, what I'm going to talk about is softening your horse laterally and how that's going to help lead into our stops. Okay? So when you go to soften your horse laterally, always remember there's two things that have to happen. Number one, that horse has to get off the bridle. Number two, they got to stop moving their feet. Think about this. When you go to stopping your horse and you want a nice smooth stop, what are two things you want to happen? Number one, you want them to get off the bridle and not pull on your hands. And number two, they got to stop moving their feet. I mean, that's a stop. They stop moving their feet, that's a stop. Okay. So the way I begin with that is with my lateral flexion, when, when I run my hand down my rein and I bring my rein to my leg, those two things have to happen right there. Slider got off the bridle and his feet are dead still. Now this horse is a great demonstration horse for the simple reason is he weighs 1,300 pounds, okay? If you don't have a horse like this, soft and supple and responsive, 1,300 pound horse, you're not gonna stop him. You know, if he wants to run off or go wherever he wants to go, and not listen to your hands and the and the and the responses that you're asking for that there's no way you're going to control this horse so slider and a little bit of background on him yesterday we were roping calves on him well when you're roping calves on a horse you're asking them to run really hard stop really hard it doesn't create a lot of softness in a horse when they're just accelerating sprinting and then jumping into a stop so today is a great day to soften him back up. So I begin with my lateral flexion. I apply that contact in his mouth. He gets off the bridle and his feet are dead still. Now, when you think about this, if you go do that on the left side and the right side, okay, you've not only softened that horse up in the face, but you've softened that horse up in this rib cage. You, for a horse to really stop good or turn good, they have to flex in their rib cage, either side to side or up and down, okay? For a horse to really stop good, that rib cage has got to elevate, okay? For a horse to turn really good, that rib cage has got to flex right to left, depending on which direction you're turning. Okay, so the next exercise I'm going to do to get him ready for his stop is just a simple figure eight exercise. And, and when I do that, I'm going to pick up on my inside rein, okay, squeeze my horse forward, and I'm going to go to the left. Then I'm going to pick up my right rein, squeeze my horse forward, and I'm going to go to the right. To the left. To the right. Okay, real simple exercise. But just think about this, when you're doing that simple figure eight exercise, what's this horse's inside hind leg doing? That inside hind leg is getting, is starting to step up and get up underneath this horse, okay? So basically you're helping this horse with his left side, then his right side, left side, right side, and at the same time he's staying soft in the face. So down the road, when we sit down and we drop our hands and push down on our heels and ask for a stop, we've already started to soften that horse in their stop by doing this simple exercise, okay? So think about this when you're getting ready to create a good stop in your horse. That softness in the face has to continue through this horse's body. And when I pick up on this rein, I want this leg coming forward, okay? I want this leg, this rein, when I, when I pick up on this rein and ask for that softness in his face, I want that inside hind leg coming forward, just like I was doing in that figure eight exercise, okay? So though it seems funny that an exercise where you're moving forward and changing directions like that figure eight exercise helps you in your stop, at that same time, you're softening that horse in his head, neck, shoulders, rib cage, and hind quarters. And for a horse to be really good in their stop, they need to be soft in all five body parts. That's my training tip for this week. Again, Ernie, thanks for having us on Better Horses TV. We love the show. Anybody watching, if you want to contact us, go to philhaugenhorsemanship.com.
uh, send us an email or you can message us on Facebook, Phil Haugen Horsemanship. Thanks again for joining us this week and have a great week of training.